Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a four-year-old named Kylie and I also have a two-year-old named Mia. Now, fairly recently, I posted a video where I shared with you guys our entire daily routine from the time that my girls wake up in the morning until the time that they go to bed. And if you haven't seen that video, I will be sure to put a link to that in the description box down below in case you're interested in checking that one out. But my four-year-old recently started Montessori preschool for the very first time, about two weeks ago now. And because of that, things are a little different than they were in that video. And I know that many of you guys are also very interested in seeing how those things have changed. So from one busy parent to another. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my brand new school morning routine with a preschooler and a toddler. So my morning starts at 6.30 when my alarm goes off. This is an alarm for myself primarily so that I have about 15 or 20 minutes to kind of get myself together before I go to wake up the girls if they aren't already awake. But sometimes, like this morning, they wake up all by themselves at around the same time that I do and so they just come running into the room ready to go and follow me into the bathroom as I go through my own little morning routine just to get myself ready for the day. So usually by about 6.45 we are ready to head down downstairs and have breakfast together. And the girls do really enjoy having the independence of being able to choose and serve themselves their own breakfast each morning. I like to have a couple of options on hand that are down at their level that they can easily access, like this little cereal station with small containers that they can open and close on their own that's right next to all of their utensils and dishes and everything that they need. But they also have access to the lower part of our refrigerator where they can get a glass of milk or milk if they need it for the cereal. As as well as fruit and yogurt or anything of that nature. If they decide that they want oatmeal or eggs or anything a little bit more involved, typically on weekdays I will make it for them, but they do like to help out with those kinds of things on the weekends when we have a little bit more time. While the girls are having breakfast, they also like to have a little bit of screen time. They're only allowed to have one hour for the entire day, so they take a small little 15-20 minute chunk here while they're eating, and then they're done until the later afternoon. And while the girls are preparing and eating their own breakfast, that gives me a few minutes to make myself a small cup of coffee and get some oatmeal going on the stove for my husband and I as that's our typical go-to morning breakfast. I also like to take this time to prep Kylie's snack box. She is only there for a half day so she doesn't need a full lunch. She just needs a small little couple of items so this morning I gave her some apple cinnamon rice crisps and some fresh cut cantaloupe. Right now she does have input on what snack she wants from the available options but eventually I would also like to have her get involved in actually taking over over the process of packing her own snack box. Once breakfast is over, it's time to get dressed for school. So we head back upstairs and Kylie likes to choose her clothes the night beforehand actually. And then she spends a few minutes folding them neatly, putting them in a little pile and setting them down on her beanbag chair where it's really easy for her to just grab it and get herself dressed very quickly. She also likes to spend just a few minutes in front of her mirror brushing her hair and then deciding how she wants it for school that day. A lot of the times she actually just leaves it down or puts it in a low ponytail. And then other times she decides that she wants a bow. This morning she went through a couple of different ideas before she decided ultimately that she just wanted to have a little half pony and a little small butterfly barrette that I had to help her with. After she's all dressed, we head back downstairs for her to put on her socks and shoes over by the front door, which is a task that she really takes pride in being able to do by herself. After her shoes are on, then it's time to pack up her backpack. So she puts her water bottle and her snack box into her backpack, zips it up, puts it on, and then we head out to the car. So by this time, it's about 7.55, almost 8 a.m., and I try to give us a couple of extra minutes to get ourselves into the car and ready to leave because the girls do enjoy being able to get into the car and into their car seats and buckling themselves in. They really like doing that and taking ownership over that process. So I do build in a few extra minutes into our schedule to allow that to happen. But once they are both buckled in, it is officially go time. It doesn't take us very long to get down there. We live just a few minutes away from the school, so it's a pretty short drive. And the school itself has a very efficient drop-off system. So I have to just pull up right to the front of the school. An assistant from her classroom comes right up to our car, helps to get her unbuckled and out, and then safely into the building. 
So by this time, it's about 8.15, 8.20 a.m. and Mia and I head straight back home. Usually the first thing that she wants to do when we get back is to have a small snack. So that was our first order of business this morning. Again, she really enjoys the independence of being able to choose her own snacks from the options that I give them. And this morning she selected some of the apple cinnamon rice crisps that Kylie also took to school and just a couple of dried mango slices. And while she finished her snack, that gave me a couple of extra minutes to reheat my cold cup of coffee and sit down and finish it with her. So from about 8.30 to 11 a.m., this is what I would consider Mia's work cycle. So it's about a good two and a half hours that she has to choose any activities that she would like to do. The first thing that she wanted to do today was to go upstairs and play with the dollhouse in Kylie's room. That's actually a new interest of hers that she's developed over the last week or two. She also wanted to climb around for a little bit on the pickler triangle just outside of their bedrooms. And after that, she decided that she was ready to get herself dressed for the day. So we went back into her bedroom so that she could pick out something to wear from her wardrobe. After that, she decided that she was ready to go back downstairs and work on some of the activities that are on her shelf. After a little while, she decided that she wanted to read some books. So she went to our bookshelf, selected a small handful of them, and then we brought them over to the living room couch where we sat and read for probably about a good 20 to 25 minutes. By the time we were done, it was 10.30 a.m., which is actually our typical mid-morning snack time from even before Kylie started school. So she was hungry and said that she specifically wanted a waffle with cream cheese. So we went into the kitchen and got everything ready and then sat down at the dining room table together and had a little snack. Again, she really enjoys the process of food preparation. So she spent a few minutes very carefully spreading the cream cheese all over her waffle in addition to a little bit of taste testing. But then when she was ready, she decided that she also wanted to play a couple of rounds of I Spy using some of the colors that we were seeing around the room. So we did that while we were having our snack. Once she was all done, she brought her plate to the kitchen sink and then went to the hand washing station to get herself cleaned up. At this point, we had about 25 minutes left until we needed to leave to go get Kylie. So she decided that she wanted to sit on the front porch and draw with chalk for a little bit with me. Around 11.05, we went back inside to get ourselves cleaned up just a little bit. I encouraged her to use the restroom briefly before we left because I knew that we would be sitting in the car pickup line for just a little while and, you know, accidents happen. So she used the restroom really quickly. And then after that, we got loaded back up into the car. 
We arrived back to Kylie's school around 11.20, so we sat there for about 10 minutes before they opened up the doors to start releasing students. And again, we drove right up to the front of the school where she was waiting with a classroom assistant who very kindly helped her get back into the car, after which I was able to pull over and help her actually get strapped in safely so that we could drive home. And that's basically it for our new morning routine. After we get home, the girls and I have lunch, we have quiet time, and the rest of the afternoon is spent doing whatever it is that the girls would like to do for the most part. Sometimes we have errands that we have to run in the afternoon, but they're not incredibly common. So usually we're either at home or we go to the library or to the park, or we're just kind of hanging out and having fun together until that dinner and bedtime routine starts. So it's honestly not much different in that second half of the day than it was before she started school. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. If you are interested in learning more about Montessori at home or positive discipline parenting, I also offer a couple of e-courses that walk you through it step by step. So I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box down below as well, just in case you're interested in learning more about it. And just in case you're new to my channel, I also wanted to let you know that this video is part of a much larger series on this YouTube channel called Montessori at Home, which is aimed at providing practical tips and advice for busy parents like you and I for implementing Montessori at home with our children. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching more of, then you might consider subscribing to my channel. This way you don't miss a new video because I do upload a new one just like this one every single week. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye.